Hey guys, it's your girl Leslie, and welcome to my channel. So hey guys, it's been a little bit. So recently I got my braces fucking tightened. Look at that. Look at those two beautiful colors. <laughs> beautiful, right? Also, currently, I was watching some stuff on my Nintendo that is themed to Sailor Moon. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Beautiful, right? <laughs> Anyways. Excuse me. Today, we are reading a, I believe if I remember correctly, a Yandere Creepypasta ex reader story. One shot, of course. Now... If I believe correctly, some people want me to read a certain book that I have stopped reading because, well, I didn't really, it was because I felt like I should stop it or something because it was just like, uh, you know, like it wasn't like anything bad or anything. I think I just kind of got over it, but now I want to kind of get back into it. I believe it is called, um... Um, Black Butler Cat's Ex Modern Reader. Uh, now, the last time I've checked, the book is finally completed now, so. Yeah. That's. That's some uh, hot chocolate to spill right there. Um, I haven't really visited the book since when I stopped it, but I might as well continue it. Three, three stories I'm already continuing. Um,. But I don't really have anything else to show, except Remy is here with me. Chess, my big flippy dog that sometimes makes uh, some background noises. So, yeah, that's him right there. That's, that's him. And, um, yeah. Also, we, uh, at the secret steep tour, steep, cheap, cheap store, uh, one day me and my mom went there. And we found this. We believe this is a part of the camera. This is basically where you connect it to your phone and it basically takes a video or um, a photo. Just secretly pressing it. And um, does it work? It works. So, yeah, we also found that. And I don't really have anything else to announce. But... Let's get straight into the story. So, hey guys, now we're finally back up in here. Um, sorry, I had to check because last time I said four seconds. I was like, how did I read all that important? No, I didn't. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, we're reading Lost Silver X Rita today. There is two parts, so I'm gonna try my best to go as quickly but easily as possible. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Your point of view. The sound of my phone ringing interrupted me from my business as I stopped what I was doing and ran to pick it up. Hello? Hi. Wyan, it's me. Your one and only best friend. FN! I smiled widely. FN was busy those last few days and she wasn't calling me at all. But now, I'm happy that she did. Hi, FN! Long time no see, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, there's something I have to tell you. Well, it, it's someone, it's about someone I want you to meet. I don't have time to explain, so would you mind coming over? Um, uh, sure? Great, see ya! And with that, she hung up. I just stared at the phone and did nothing. Well, that just happened. I started to get ready. Grabbed my keys and made my way to FN's house. I knocked the door. The door opened. Why, Anne, you're here! She gave me a hug and pulled me inside before I could say anything. She literally threw me on the couch and clapped her hands together. So... Do you promise not to freak out? I gave a cheeky smile and crossed my arms. What is it? Is it something about spiders or snakes or anything? No, but... I promise you'll keep calm. Alright. So, a few days ago, there's someone who appeared in my house all of a sudden, she said in, in a nervous way. And it's... 
Well, not... How can I say this? Not a normal person. Don't freak out. He's very sweet, innocent, and cute. Your boyfriend? I joked. She shook her head. I want you to meet Lost Silver. I just stared at her, not knowing what to say or do. She gulped. Y- you can come out now, Losty. That's when something appeared and my eyes widened at the sight. Yeah, I would be running across the room and be like, Ah! El, dia, el Diablo! No, no today! <laughs> uh uh-uh, I'm good. <laughs> I'd be terrified too, especially I saw that eye in the back. Oh, hell no. I'd be like running to Jesus. You know, bro, I don't know. Whoever you believe in. In a positive light. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he just stared at me with wide eyes, and I did the same. I've never seen someone like him before. I know he wasn't human, but he looked cute and innocent. I could tell that FN was worried and anxious about how I would react. She was biting her nails. Hi, I said to him. FN sighed in relief. Uh, uh, hi, he said back and looked away, not allowing me to see his face. His voice was quiet, but cute and sad. Are you shy? He didn't answer. I gave a small smile. It's okay. There's no need to be shy. He then looked at me with an innocent and sad face, but his eyes widened and his face turned a shade of red. Effen giggled and started jumping. Thank God, just look at you, already starting a small talk. Oh, I think someone is call. I think someone is calling me. I'll be back. And with that, she left me alone with Lost Silver. There was an awkward silence. His face was still red, but. He was looking away to hide it. I decided to speak up a bit to warm things up. So, um, nice to meet you, Lost Silver. He gave a quick nod in response before speaking. Just, just call me Silver. His voice was cute, shy and quiet. I smiled at him. All right, Silver. Here, sit next to me. I patted the seat next to me. He tensed a bit, slowly ap- slowly approached and sat next to me. His face was getting redder. I giggled at his adorableness. You know, you're cute. I said it was a small blush. He looked at me all uh, <laughs> he looked at me all <laughs> I can't. <laughs> he looked at me flustered and full. <laughs> I could tell by his face. He was burning and looked away. Thank, thank you. <laughs> I giggled. He looked at me. What's your name? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm YN. I smiled at him. He just stared at me. In s- to m- oh, what? He just stared at me. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's one one. He just stared at me. Lion. Lion. Wow. I couldn't help but giggle. He looked away flustered. Sorry. Aw, there's no need to apologize. We're all friends here. I said as friendly as I could. I swear I could see him smile a tiny bit. FN was back. All right, I'm back with some snacks because guess what? It's movie time! I stared at her with many emotions. I mean, of course I was happy to see a movie with the two of them, but it was just all of a sudden. And I bought a horror movie. She winked. We had prepared everything, turned the lights off, and sat on the couch. I was on the right, FN in the left, and Silver in the middle. The movie was about to start. Silver look, suddenly looked at me with a blush. Why, why, can you feed me? I looked at him and realized he had no arms. I gave him a warm smile. Sure. I grabbed some snacks and said, Say ah! Uh, uh, ah! He said flustered as I fed him the snacks, not noticing a giggling FN. 
The movie was boring at the beginning, but now was the run part. I liked horror movies, but I still got scared. I couldn't help but had my face on Silver's shoulder whenever a scary part was coming. He was shy at first, but he slowly started getting closer to me, allowing me to hide onto his shoulder. The movie ended, and we were all feeling sleepy. Hey, YN, how about you sleep here? I mean, it wouldn't hurt sleeping for the night. Pweety, please! She begged in an innocent way. Um... All right, sure. Yay! FN cheered, and I noticed that Silver seemed happy, too. All right, YN, you, we can sleep together in my room, and Silver will sleep on his own room I made for him. FN suggested. We then both looked at Silver, who seemed to be a bit disappointed and jealous. Sorry, Sylvie, but this is a girl's room. No boys allowed. We girls need privacy, she said in a playful way. Silver nodded as we headed upstairs. All right, good night, Silver. FN waved at Silver before go going inside her room. I looked at Silver and gave a smile. Good night, Silver. We'll see you in the morning. He gave a shy smile, his cheeks red. G good night, YN. S sweet dreams. I giggled before getting inside a friend's room. So, YN, what do you think of Silver? I blushed a bit. He's, uh, cute and adorable. He's so innocent and shy. I hope he'll warm up to me. Oh, I'm sure he will, Wyan. I can tell he has taken a liking to you. I blushed more. She laughed. Anyway, I bought something for you. Here. She gave me a box and I opened it. Ta-da! I bought a new set of pajamas for our sleepovers. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> can I get an awa awa? Ow, ow! <laughs> I found them really cute. I don't care if you don't like them. I bought them for you, and you'll be wearing them whenever we have a sleepover. You, <laughs> Whether you like them or not, or I'll murder you to sleep. Just like Jeff the Killer. I chuckled and rolled my eyes. I never said I wouldn't wear them. Thank you, FN. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Now go and wear them already. I'll wear mine too. I started taking off my clothes and placed them next to me and wore the new pajamas. They were cold, yet soft and comfortable. I looked at myself in the mirror and, hey, I looked cute. Those pajamas look great on you, YN. What do you think of my pajamas? I turned to see hers and odd. She was looked adorable too. Oh my god, the elephant. Oh, I love it. <laughs> wow, you look so adorable, Miss Elephant. I said playfully. Why, thank you. You are so kind, Miss Pug. She replied and bowed her head like a princess. Like a princess would do. <laughs> Whoopsie. We started laughing at our stu stupidity, now noting that a certain Lost Silver was listening to our conversation. Anyway, let's get to bed. It's too late, she said as we laid next to each other and uh, hid our bodies under the covers. We closed the lights. Good night, FN. Good night to you, too, Miss Pug. <laughs> Soon, we fell asleep. I woke up and couldn't go back to sleep. It was about 8.48 a.m. I sighed and got up, stretching my body. I rubbed my eyes and slowly made my way to the bathroom, grabbing my clothes. I took a quick shower, enjoying the feeling of the cool water hitting against my skin, taking away the sleep off my body. When I finished, I got out and dried myself, wore my clothes and did what the hell I usually do. I exited the bathroom and headed to the kitchen to make some breakfast. I saw I made some waffles and made the table. Good morning, YN. I looked up to see Silver, who was looking at me. I smiled. <laughs> Good morning! Come sit down, I made breakfast. He came and sat on the table. How was your sleep? It was okay. I smiled. I'll go wake up FN. I'll be back. I got up and headed to FN's room. 
I climbed on the bed and poked her cheek. Wake up, sleepyhead. I made breakfast. Yeah, coming. She rolled off the bed and fell to the floor. I grabbed her foot and dragged her to the door and left her. If you don't get up, I'm going to leave you here to die. I softly kicked her legs. Okay, she whispered. She slowly got up and went to change. While I got downstairs to get the silver. Some hours later. We all decided to go to a gaming place. We played a lot of games and Silver was really good at them and he seemed to enjoy them. FN, Silver, and I were now together deciding what to do next. But that's when I met a... So, uh, sorry, I mean a girl with long orange hair with light brown eyes came towards us. She was wearing a short hot pink t-shirt that showed her belly. Uh... Uh, 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 a crop top thank you very much <laughs> easy describing uh, short jeans and some pink heels and she was also wearing makeup eyeliner and lipstick and she wore earrings necklaces and many bracelets she even wore a fake long pink with blue net wait what <laughs> she even wore fake long pink and blue nails Girls like those would usually come to this place pretending that they wanted to play video games to impress the boys. Even though they had about one quadrillion boyfriends that seemed to break up with all of them. She totally ignored FN and me and she went up to Silver. She got a bit close to him and tried to make a cute pose. Hey there cutie. Are you new, are you new here? I can show you around the place and get and get to know each other, she said, she said with a huge smile, trying to act as cute and kind as possible. <clears throat> this made both FN and I feel rage while Silver looked very uncomfortable and slowly took a push back. <laughs> you don't have no people. <laughs> no. Aww, you're such a cutie. She let out a giggle. Don't be shy. I don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm kind of acting like Madea. Damn. <laughs> uh, okay, that's it. I was done with her bullshit already. I got in the way and put on a fake kind smile. No, it's all right. Thank you. He's with us. We really appreciate your kindness, but we have to leave now. If you excuse us, I said trying to sound kind and thankful, but mostly sounded sarcastic. She growled and looked at me with pure hatred, but we just ignored her as I gently took Silver by his shoulders and dragged him as far away as I could from her, effing following next to me. <clears throat> the thing was starting to get annoying. She was, she was still watching and following us, but we would always get away from her. Silver didn't seem to notice her, since he was too focused on the video games. Effin and I also pretended that we weren't aware of her stalking us, or should I say, Silver. But she, we never knew, but we knew she did, and she was getting on our nerves. We soon left the place and headed home. I time skip to the night, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> gotta add a little bit of it. <laughs> FN had to leave for one day, so she let me take care of Silver. Right now, it was night and we were coming back from a walk. The only sound you could hear was our footsteps and the crickets. It would be very dark if there wasn't lights in the streets. There was a bathroom nearby and I had to go in there. Silver, I'll go to the bathroom. You can wait here. I won't be late, I promise. He nodded as I left for the bathroom, leaving him alone outside the bathroom. When I was done, I heard a female voice. It couldn't be heard very well, but I listened to uh, quite a few things. Come on, ditch this bitch. She was nothing. She's just ugly, weak, and pathetic. Let me show you what a real woman can do to make you happy. The woman purred in a girly voice. I immediately recognized the voice. It was that girl! I ran outside the bathroom, only to stop when I heard her screaming. I continued running and I gasped and covered my mouth. When I found the girl dead, lying on the ground, and blood all over the place. That's when I saw him. Silver. 
But no, not Silver. He was much more dangerous and scary. And he had arms. Nobody calls my girl ugly, weak, and pathetic, he said in a dark voice. I stayed silent and frozen, but that's when he turned and looked at me. I let out a gasp but didn't move at all. His whole body turned to face me. Nice, nice. I like the look, man. Like a kudji. <laughs> he started walking towards me. I didn't move at all. I just stood there like an idiot. My hands covering my mouth. My eyes widened. Staring at him. He went close to me. His hand placed was placed on my waist, which brought me closer to him, and his other hand moved my hands away as he placed his fingers on my chin. I just stared at him and shivered while his hand moved from my chin to my cheeks. She was so naive. How could she think that she deserves that she was anything better than you? She deserved it. I stared at him in fear and many emotions. He pulled me close to his chest and hugged me with his slender arms. You smell so beautiful. I really waited for this moment. I'm so happy you're here in my arms now, he whispered. He only pulled away. He slowly pulled away and his head leaned closer to my face, his eyes staring at my lips. You're so innocent, so precious. No one shall take you away from me. I could feel his hot breath on my lips, which sent some shivers on my bo down my spine. I whimpered and tried to push him away, but he kept me in place. Now, now, don't be scared. I won't hurt you. His lips almost touched mine. His hands were still holding my chin, keeling my head still. His lips touched mine a few times, but... Before they could be fully connected, he kept pulling away as if he was trying to tease me or anything, before kissing me. My grip on his shoulders got tighter as he pulled me even closer. I whispered, I whimpered between the kiss, but didn't do anything. My legs were shaking, feeling as they were going to break if he let me go. He pulled away and took a few deep breaths. No one shall take away you away from me. You are my girl, Wyan. A uh, uh, person, sorry. Wyan, you'll learn how to accept that. I whimpered and slowly tried to break free, but he kept me still. It'll be okay. Don't worry about anything. I promise I'll make you happy now. Will you accept me as yours? right okay y'all oh my goodness this girl oh! <laughs> anyways we gotta go to a uh, chapter two let's get into it okay we here y'all we here part two okay let's get into this oh my goodness i'm excited <laughs> fn's point of view i was doing some chores while Sorry, wrong thing. <clears throat> I was doing some chores while I waited for YN and Silver to come back. I giggled at the thought of them together. Silver was so adorable and I felt like him and YN would be the perfect pair. I, f I let out a dreamy sigh when I heard the door open. I ran to find Silver and YN, though YN seemed pale and she looked a bit strange. Guys, you're back! Wyan, are you okay? She's okay. An animal scared her. Silver said. Oh, okay. Well, come in! There was silence between Wyan and Silver. He would try to approach her, but she, has, she was quiet. As if, as, it was as if those two got switched. Wyan was the quiet type now. But... Things did seem wrong. Wyan, are you really okay? Are you sure you're not sick or... I started... I just stated as I put my hand on her forehead. I I'm okay. Why? She whispered with a small smile. 
your point of view. I faked a smile at her, and I saw as I saw Silver look at me from afar. All right, but please let me know if anything happened. I'm your best friend, okay? You can trust me. I wish I could, but it would only end up with you dying. All right, well, I'm going to tidy up the room so we can get some sleep. She patted my shoulder as she got up and left. Please don't go. I felt someone sit next to me. Lion, are you mad at me? Silver said. He looked... He looked just like the first time I met him. Even though I knew he wasn't really the same. Lion, I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. Silver started to cry as if he as he bit his lips and hit his face behind his dark bangs. I felt my heart break as I suddenly forgot what he has done some minutes ago. I placed my hand on his cheek and sighed making him look at me. Silver, I should apologize, be apologizing. I'm not mad, it's just that I didn't expect to, that to happen. I didn't even like that girl. He looked at me directly in the eyes with his teary ones. You were just trying to protect us. We both slowly started to lean closer with hearts beating fast, until Wyan interrupted the moment as we both pulled away, blushing. <laughs> Everything is ready! FN, I want Wyan to sleep with me. Silver said as he looked at FN. I blushed at that. Uh, why? I I'm lonely. FN started to blush as she started having her thoughts and coughed. <clears throat> all right, all right. Uh, sure. Good night. See ya. She said and hurried off to her room, leaving us both confused. We both got ready for bed, turned off the lights, and lied on the big couch. There was silence between us as uh, Silver <laughs> stared at me while doing nothing. I decided to spare him a glance. He turned... On, he turned to my side and just kept staring at me. Um, what's the matter? I asked, I asked anxiously. He didn't reply, even though he seemed to want to say something. I stared at him, not moving my eyes away from his. Soon, my eyes started to flutter close until I felt soft lips on mine. Okay, people. So this was the official last part I could find, peeps. Literally, ooh la la. Like, look at all these, man. There is not another part. Like, mm mm, zero. <laughs> that is the official last part. Dang, at least it ended in a good way, not unlike the others. <laughs> Hot coffee sip, um, hot, hot chocolate sip. Thank you very much, Leslie. <laughs> Anyways, that was really interesting. I was excited to read it because it just sounded so interesting. And I just had to kind of pop in and just wee, wee, and just go wee. <laughs> Anyways, back to me. <laughs> So hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I personally did. I was really excited to read through the whole thing because it just sounded so cute and innocent and nice. It ended better than I honestly expected. Um, way better ending. That's what I'm going to say. Way better ending. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just way better ending than I expected, which was, you know, nice and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Also, just I'm just looking down because I have to remind myself that I'm going to shave tomorrow. Even though, ladies, you don't need to shave if you don't want to. You can keep them nice and thick neck legs, nice and uh, furred up if you want to. No hate, no nothing. I just want to shave my legs because I just want to feel fancy and at the same time... Uh, 
I guess it just makes me feel fancy and I just kind of like it that way. I mean, I do not shave often <laughs> my legs because that, that don't need to happen. Like, I haven't shaved in like months, I think. Um, but it doesn't grow back that bad. Like, it looks like, like, from afar, you don't see any hair, but when you go close, you can see it. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's, man, let's normalize ladies having leg hair and let's normalize men letting like letting men shave their legs and let them shave and let them look nice and pretty with pretty nice clean legs armpits what not let's normalize these things because it's normal body hair is normal i mean you keep your hair clean that's hair i mean you can keep the rest of it clean just clean it properly and learn how to clean it properly and you're good you good. You still gotta learn how to clean it properly even though you shave or not. You know what I'm saying? Point in period. Point in period. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more amazing videos, guys. Um, I'm probably gonna change some of the stuff that's going on around here. I might change my username of TikTok, maybe. It's just I have that username for so long. And I'm like... So it's kind of like a hard decision for me. Maybe I might. And then um, I'm probably also going to change my um, profile pic from the Black Lives Matter. And not that I don't support it. I still do support it, of course. Um, but there is new stuff going on. Black lives still do matter. But there is other stuff that's going on that should be paid attention to. And at the same time... Uh, I would like to change it since I've had that thing on for about a year, and yeah, of course, black lives still matter, and they will always matter. I'm not, just because I take it down or change it doesn't mean I don't support it. I do support it very, very much, guys, so <laughs> don't, don't get it twisted. I might or might not change it, it really does depend if, um... I found if I found something that's kind of in themed with uh, my YouTube channel, maybe I might change it. Maybe I might. Maybe I might not. I don't know. But you know, y'all, y'all will find out in a couple of days if I do. If I do. Anyways, I love you guys very much. Um, be be good people. Uh, if you need help with some apps or anything that can help you with online at this point, because school sucks. Um, I'm gonna put link uh, some links in the description for some on for some TikToks or websites to where you can get some answers. You get a cool calculator, maybe some app names. To help you guys out there because bish we need help out in here and also of course the link for the story at this point that's what i'm doing now i'm a i'm a big girl now <laughs> anyways uh bye and peace for now guys also remy says bye too <laughs>